It's not always easy for Kyle Harper to motivate herself to go out for a run. She doesn't even really like running, especially in the rain. But she gets out there day after day for her fiance, Army Staff Sergeant Michael Hollander. It's really not about finishing with the time or you know, in a certain goal, it's just about finishing for him and kind of remembering him throughout the run. In April 2007, Harper got the news that Mike died in an IED explosion in Iraq. I just remember not believing it was true. I mean, I just sat there for hours saying, but we were going to get married. We have plans. Like, this can't be. We have plans. My brain just didn't comprehend it probably for a few days that he really wasn't coming back. And the grieving process has not been easy. But Harper and other families who have lost loved ones in the military have found comfort in running events like the Marine Corps Marathon. Many families have found a little relief by participating with the Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors Run and Remember team. And many of them will talk about how invigorating it felt to them, how they felt close to their loved one while they were running, um, and how they think it, it's helping them. And when Harper reaches the finish line here at the Iwo Jima Memorial, she says it'll be something to celebrate a celebration of her accomplishment and of Mike's life. You get to do this amazing thing because you loved this person and you're running six miles or 26 miles because of your loved one and that's really empowering to realize that you can be inspired by them even though they're dead and they're not a part of your daily life. Reporting in Washington, I'm Jessica Harbin.